Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Buki Akimare. I'm a home cook here in Lagos, Nigeria. If you've just stumbled upon my channel for the first time, you're welcome. On this channel, I post food recipes, kitchen tips and tricks and hacks. And I just share things that makes your life in the kitchen so much more fun. And I'd love for you to stick around. So please subscribe to my channel before you click off and hit the notification button so you're notified every time I post new content. For my excess recipe, I'm not doing too much. So of course I have my fresh eggs here and then I have, the bulk of it will be tomatoes. And then I have just two habanero peppers, just for a little spice. And then I have my kombi for extra flavor. I have chopped onions and of course my spices. I have white pepper, onion powder, oregano, chicken seasoning, and my oil. I'm using canola oil because I like it. I'm going to start first by chopping up my tomatoes. So rather than use my hand really is why I'm doing this. And I don't need a smooth consistency. Let's see if you can fit in all at once. So I don't have to do it twice. <laughs> Okay, it's perfect. And by the way, this chopper is one of the best things that I own. It just makes everything really quick. So look at that, rather than use my hands to chop it, I just use it here and it takes all of five seconds to do. I'm going to start with my oil in the pan. And then when the oil is hot, I'm going to cook the tomatoes and the onions. And now my tomato goes in. And my onions. And this is the base for the egg sauce. Now, in some other egg sauce recipes, they use a lot less tomato and more eggs, but for mine, I want it really stewy. So I'm using a lot more tomato base and fewer eggs. So depending on how you like it, if you want it more eggy, then use more eggs and reduce the quantity of the tomatoes that you use. But if you want it more saucy and stewy, then you would use more tomato for your base and then fewer eggs. So that's the trick. It just depends on how you like it, but this is how I like mine. I like it stewy and you know, not dry or anything like that. So this is perfect. I'm going to add my spices now. I really like onion powder and I use it in almost everything. So I'm going to add a little bit here, even though there's already onions in it. I still like the flavor of onion powder. So I always, almost, almost always typically use it. I'm going to add a little bit of white pepper. and chicken seasoning. Now be very careful when you're doing this because um, corned beef already has a high salt content, which is why there's no salt in this recipe, by the way. So um, don't overdo it, but you still want your egg sauce to taste really good, you know? I'm going to add some oregano just because I like it. You can use thyme if you want. You can also add curry in this if you want, but I typically don't cook with a lot of curry anymore, just personal preference, so. Yeah, I'm going to stir this and allow it to cook on low to medium heat for a couple of minutes, and then I'll add in the corned beef. This has been cooking for about 10 minutes now, so I'm going to add in the corned beef. It's going to add to the taste of this egg sauce and it's going to taste absolutely yum. So if you don't like corned beef, at this point you can add maybe tuna, you can add mackerel fish, you can add geisha if that's more your thing. Um, or you don't even have to add anything if you don't want to. I'll let this cook for another three minutes and then I'm going to add my eggs.
While that is cooking, I'm going to crack my eggs in here. One of my pet peeves is using a knife to crack the eggs. Like, it, I don't know, I always feel like, you know, you're going to crack the shell so much that the shells, the tiny pieces of shells will fall in the egg and I just cannot understand like when people use a fork or a knife and I know that people do it a lot and it's just more convenient and easier but something about it just doesn't happen to you. Do you feel that way too? Because it's just really, oh. Now it's time to add my eggs. And this may very well be a really nice pot of combeef sauce. So if you want to stop here, this is a combeef sauce recipe, free of charge for you. But I'm going to turn it into an egg sauce because that's what we're making today. So I'm going to add in my eggs and just leave it uncovered and let it cook for about two minutes or about a minute and a half before I stir it. While this is cooking, I'm going to come over to my yam. I already have my yam cooking, which is my favorite thing to eat this with. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt. And I add sugar to my yam. I know people don't and people complain about it, but I like the taste. I add a little bit of sugar to my yam. My mom always made it like this and it was perfect. And I'm just going to give this a mix now. Remember how I said I like it stewy more than um, eggy? This is what I mean. And sometimes even stewier than this. And it's just perfect with like perfectly boiled white yam. Ah, oh, I think it's the best combination that you can have, although it induces sleep, so be careful. <laughs> My egg sauce is now fully ready and this is what it looks like. It smells absolutely divine in here. Like I can't wait for my yam to be cooked and serve this with it. It's going to be the perfect breakfast this morning. And this is how I like to eat it. And my egg sauce on the side. Lots and lots of it. This has to be one of my favorite egg sauce recipes and I can't believe I haven't shared it before now. It's really easy and really quick to make and I especially love it on Sunday mornings. I hope you're going to try out this recipe. If you do, let me know. Leave your comments in the comment section and let me know what you think about this recipe generally. Don't forget, I want you to come back. So turn on your post notifications so that you can come back and watch my videos. Thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye.